Hi, I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org and today we will be testing Charles's gas law. We are using the book Christian Kids Explore Chemistry by Bright Ideas Press and we are enjoying these uh, experiments. Yes, Charles's gas law states that if the temperature is increased, the volume will increase. And so what we've done is we have gotten a glass bottle and we put it in the refrigerator for one hour. Hour. Now we are going to put a balloon on the top of that cold bottle. So we are going to the refrigerator, grabbing it, putting the balloon on it, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the bottle straight from the fridge. We are putting on a um, balloon on the top of it to seal the top, and then we are putting it into some hot water. You want to make sure that the water is not too hot. Uh, if it's completely boiling, it will melt the top off the balloon. So, and actually, it looks like, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, it's inflating! <gasps> it's inflating! <laughs> Okay, so what's happening here, um, uh, Charles's uh, gas law states that if you heat up gas and inside that bottle is some air, it takes up space and it's gas and it takes up more space when it is heated. So when we heat the um, air inside that bottle, we will get um, an increase in air pressure and, we and the volume increases. So, oh my goodness, Oh my goodness, it is going up and up and up. It is continuing to inflate. Um, we don't want to um, have it come off, so we want to see how much it inflates. I know <laughs> it's like you want to go flick, flick, flick. Okay, so as you can see, the air has definitely expanded because when we put it on, it was just to the top like this, and it was really boring. But now look, it is so fabulous. Now we are going to put it into the cold water and see what happens. Now cold water, as you can see, has ice cubes in it. So the air that was inside the bottle is hot right now and because of that hot water. So it has expanded, but now that it's colder, the air should compress and go uh, slower. Those molecules will be moving at a slower rate, and so it will start calming down and going back down. And we will see if the, um, if the balloon goes limp in just a minute. It went down a little bit. There wasn't as much tension in the balloon, but it wasn't that noticeable. So we put it into the refrigerator for an hour. And now let's take a look and see what happened to the balloon. And here, sure enough, the air inside the bottle has cooled down and has um, used up less space. So here we have the finishing of the balloon experiment. I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org. Thanks for watching.